Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Xander Digital. This is behind the scenes Stella music video. Let's get it. ZD do it better, going up like Stella. High at the top, but I started from cellar. Shooting for the stars, now I'm going in the Stella. Who said I couldn't make money from my acapella? I want you. Oh, I always have to flex this shit. <laughs> So I had to ride Abby's horse. Its name's Casper, and uh, I was uh, terrified because I've never ridden a horse before. This is the first time I was riding a horse. I look real comfortable in a music video. I just edited it that way, all right? I was scared shitless. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we're gonna be shooting the Stella music video. Uh, there's gonna be a little behind the scenes sort of clip. Abby's just prepping the horses now uh, for a couple of performance shots on the horses. I've always said I've never wanted to ride a horse because I don't like that they have their own brains. Like if they just decide that like, oh yeah, I wanna go for a fucking run through this fence, like they could do that. Whereas a motorbike, put the brakes on, doesn't have its own brain, like you know what I mean? So, a little bit nervous. This should be interesting, um, but we'll see how it goes. Hearing a lot of neighing coming from the two horses. Makes me feel a little bit more nervous, you know? <laughs> you better not buck me off. <laughs> we'll just uh, go check on our actors, the horses, uh, right now and see how they're doing. How's our uh, actor? See, that's what we don't want to happen. Yeah, go on. Tie, tie the bastard out, bloody hell. He's an Australian stock horse, and it was only $2,000 because they thought he couldn't be ridden. That's bloody almost the same price as my car, which is cheap as chips. <laughs> my Lambo, all right over there. <laughs> so, to sync the audio in um, the video editing program, you need to have like the song playing pretty loud, like in the performance shots, so it all syncs up all the different angles. Um, but what I'm worried about is if old Casper here gets uh, gets scared of the of the music, so I can't play it too loud. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to chuck it in that little pouch, eh? This one. Or a bottle of rum, we're not sure. <laughs> hey, hey, dude, you really shouldn't drink in horse. Actor and uh, stunt coordinator. Yep, so I'm just testing my stunt equipment at the moment. Oh, yep. He's a bit flighty. So, flighty? Um, <laughs> Matty agrees. Nah, he's going really well. So we get on this beast for the first time. We tried over there and he got a bit scared because I was a bit scared. But uh, yeah, very nervous. Yeah, it's all come real. Like, you know, I went to get on and there's this massive animal. So <laughs> it should be all right though. Yeah, he looks worried. I think I just gotta commit, eh? Just, just fucking send it, just jump on. He's on! Yep, uh... <laughs> you look very comfortable. <laughs> Do you wanna walk him forward? No. I'm not, I'm not gonna go on anywhere without you holding this bloody, leading him. Ready? Yep. Can you take us away from the fence, please? Someone's nervous. Yep, lean back a little bit. Whoa. That was fun. Abby. <laughs> Do you know how to brake? No. <laughs> so you just pull back on the reins to brake. Oh really? Is yep. that all you do? Yep. And he stops. Yep, so pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Now let go. He almost ran away with me. <laughs> <laughs> he almost fucking took me. Where was he going? But we ended up getting on and we ended up filming a couple of shots. It was really, really good. So for this performance shot, it was so funny. We're on the main road in front of the house, right? I recorded this shot. Very much guerrilla style filming, just, just rocking up, point shoot. And anyway, we had to keep on like stopping the takes because the cars were coming. But it was so annoying. So we'd get set up perfectly and then I'd start rapping, I'd get hype, and then all of a sudden the cars are about to fucking hit me. So I had to get off the road. But to stop that take, I had to rewind it go back, and one of these shots we didn't even actually use. Because it's better to have clips that you have and don't need, rather than not having clips and you need them. So I always just try to film as many things as once. So this performance shot of me at the computer, this was literally, I was meant to import the footage and I, my tripod sits right here at my studio desk. And that was just like, fuck it, like another performance shot. 
I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So I just set it up and just editing some stuff on um, Logic Pro and just rapping, looking at the camera every now and then. And um, this allowed me to not use that um, bad road shot, which was really, really lucky because it just ties everything in together. The lighting was uh, really, really good and yeah, it really helped me enhance the quality of, of this music video. Antenna, Ziti getting streams like a fucking top tenner. Chilling in a Maybag with a top tenner. Gotta see Silla way back, fucking in the center. I'm the man. As an independent artist like myself, you, you don't have a director or lighting technician like these big corporations have. You literally just got to do with like the best with what you have. And what I had, uh, I got two monitors set up here. I got one there and I got another one here. And I was using that as back lighting for this performance shot where I'm at the studio. Um, I used my red neon sign to also be the ambient lighting. But it took a lot of trial and error. Like I had to see where I needed to implement these lights and I was like moving it around and getting the tripod set up. It was so annoying. But like I said, like this is just the stuff you gotta go through. And um, you're a little bit more proud when you look at the end result being this crisp, nice file that's uploaded to YouTube and starts getting views because you have a bit more ownership. When I shared this post saying, I'm really proud of this project, and how far it's come and it because it's because I had my hands deep into this fucking project and what came out was something beautiful and that's what I mean like this stuff like it's not just music it's art I create all my cover art I mix all the songs organize my partner filming on this camera she follows me around and films the music videos with me and then I import it into Final Cut and I edit the whole thing color grading so when it comes all together you feel really really good that um, and, and proud of uh, this thing that you've accomplished and this uh, stunning, amazing visual um, that follows an amazing experience and a fucking good song. I'm gonna do another video on color grading just because when I started learning things about color grading, I was like, wow, like this is, this makes such a difference. Like, and I'd love to share it with you guys, like the, what the raw footage looks like. I'll give you a quick sneak peek, boom. And the final product, boom. Like, it does so much. It's crazy, it's crazy. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time. See, they do it better going up like Stella. High at the top, but I started from cellar. Shooting for the stars, now I'm going in the Stella. Who said I couldn't make bang from my acapella?